What's up guys and welcome to Nova 111, a game releasing on the 25th of August in 2015 on PC, PS4, Wii U, and Xbox One, all of the consoles. It is a cool puzzle game that sort of mixes with adventure and it also has a weird combination of both turn-based and real-time elements. It's actually really, really fun. I'm 22% in, but it feels like I've been so much farther. It's a really good game. I'm getting really sunk into it at this point. Well, we're a few good levels in here. As you can see, there's four, five, yeah, you know, five different areas that I've really gotten through at this point and within these areas are like you know several different levels so we're actually going to go to an earlier one that we can find probably platonic plateau Alrighty, let's add in this one. This one is the second zone, so it should have a good amount of what we want to show. So, yeah, the canyons. Now, it's funny because a lot of the areas don't really have too much of a visual difference, but besides them, it is a grid-based game, so when I move left on the uh, directional pad, you can play this with the keyboard as well. The controls are really simple, but, uh, you know, I move one space. And the idea is that if we get to some enemies here, um, I'm sure I'll find some momentarily, they move on the grid as well, and they will only move when you move. So it has that turn-based style to it, so it's like, this guy will never ever move until I do this, and then he'll move. And then of course he'll have an attack, so when he's ready to attack, he'll have his little thing, and then I want to dodge it, and then attack him. He's going to try to attack again, but my attack will hit first, so I'll be able to take him out. Pretty simple stuff. There's also a button to wait a turn, just in case you want an enemy to come to you. Um, and of course on the bottom right you can see that it is counting our turns. So I can do this, and then do this, and I can take him out. He's pretty much the easiest enemy in the game, and I can just dodge him like that, and pretty simple. Where it gets interesting, there's supposed to be a secret in here, but I actually already got it. But the interesting thing is that there are some enemies that while they move on a turn-based and grid-based system, they don't attack on a turn-based and grid-based system. Uh, soon enough, I think we'll be running into an enemy that when you touch them, they will turn on a timer. And once that timer runs out, they will explode. And it is quite interesting, but it's 100% different from everything else. Now, there's also different moves I have unlocked later in the game, so, like, I could actually jump across this, but this that's actually, you don't find that until a good while after this level. So, it's, like, something, like, um, most of these levels I was able to 100% without having to backtrack with new stuff, but the more I've gotten farther, the more that has been sort of untrue, and I've had to go back. But basically, our goal was to make our way through the levels and saving as many scientists as we can. And it's actually a pretty simple game. It's fun to adventure the game and find all the secrets. Even, like, I was worried because, like I said, the environment doesn't change. Well, I'm in a bit of a situation here. These guys are chasing me down. Let's uh, get them in a corridor like this. It's gonna come over. I'm gonna dodge him. There you go. And this is, you know, one. the more comfortable you get with the controls, the more you're able to dodge that kind of stuff. But I was worried with this game that since the uh, environment doesn't change too often, it basically has the same, you know, style to it all the way through so far. I was worried that I was gonna get sick of it really easy. I was going to lose that, you know, want to explore because visually there wasn't anything new enticing me. But I was actually really wrong. The simplicity of the game makes it still fun to adventure and collect things. And of course, the lines that the scientists give that you can see on the top right when we <laughs> when we save them has always been very worth it as well. They have a lot of fun lines, especially our main character, Mr. Scientist, has a weird vendetta against his mother, which is very hilarious to listen to. But either way, I'm gonna do another level here, and then after this one, we'll do a more recent level, a more difficult one. But as you know, more enemies uh, come in, it's actually pretty complex. But what I really like about this game is that um, while it introduces all this stuff, like it's introducing a poly bomb here where I can let this rip, and then I'll hurt people around me. And to collect more energy for your poly bomb, you have to collect these little yellow things you see over here to my bottom left, this one right here. And it's pretty simple like that. But while this game gets more complex, it never feels like overwhelming. It's not like you turn on a level and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much around me, I don't know which way to move, every way I turn I get attacked. It seems to systematically place everything a little bit better and a little bit more difficult each and every time so that if you really pay attention and really just try to learn the game, it is very, very easy to. And it's like, not in the way that the game is easy, but in the way that you don't feel like you're ever just all of a sudden overwhelmed with the enemies. And like even these enemies, what they do is they will teleport away from their spawn. But you can see that where they teleport, it will actually leave something that will hurt you. So if you move way too fast, it'll you know you'll end up getting hurt because you're not paying attention to where you're going. So it's like taking your time in this game can be great, but it's also a part where it can be in a problem because it's not only turn-based. You have the uh, real-time stuff that we'll run into sooner or later. Now let's get this scientist. <laughs> There we go. So let's, um, we will probably start, uh, rushing through this level a little bit because there isn't too much I can get here. Here I can lay down another polybomb and blow some of these guys 
out of my distance, and then we'll just sneak into the level here. So there you go, there's about three levels per area, so we'd have to go through and do this, but I'm actually gonna head out now, and we're going to uh, return to the, uh, actually back to the one map now. I'm gonna do a more recent level, just to give you guys a taste of how some of the more challenging stuff is here in East Summit. I think this is the fifth area overall, so let's head into here. And in here, things get a lot more difficult. Like I said, there are some different moves you can do, um, first of all, I have a shield. So if I get hurt, one thing that I can do is just sort of move around in place and my shield will build back up. Another thing I can do is I have sort of like a gun and this will destroy certain rocks that I can't destroy any other way. And I let that rip and you can see on the top of my little ship, I can move around to restore it. Now I have two bars because I got an extra science. The more science you get, the <laughs> it was literally like well, plus one science point. You will get more bars, so. That's definitely something you need to look out for, but we wanna go up here and it's like I can destroy this with my first science and then I can use my jumper move that you actually unlocked in the level before this to go through here. Now these are cannons, they will shoot stuff, but unfortunately there's no way to kill them. So what you have to do is use your weight to make sure you're going at the right time. And you'll notice that as more enemies get more complex, you'll be using all of your moves sort of synchronously. It actually works really well. So hopefully we'll see that here. Now you see these guys over here are chargers, so we wanna make sure we try to take them out before they take us out, because they'll charge across like the whole world they need to to get us. All right, now this guy is a very interesting one. He is the bomb dude, so if I hit him like that, look, there's a real-time timer that I gotta get out of there. It does not matter how many or how little times I move, and there's a secret up here that I already got. But you can see that there's a lot of hidden stuff like that, and if you ever need to access the map, the map is actually really simple. Not only that, but the map is awesome, because I can move while the map is up like this, and it makes it way, way easier to handle. So yeah, nice and simple stuff there. Alrighty, and, and to explain what you're seeing here, the pink stuff is unmovable stuff, but typically there's stuff behind it. So like, with this pink, you know, like, this is that. So, you know, sometimes uh, vines like this will be hiding secret areas like this. So, that's what the pink is, and the red stuff is either projectiles, enemies, or collectibles. So yeah. And of course, you can get a little challenging with this game. There are leaderboards, so if you want to challenge yourself by beating your friends, either their time or their score, you know, how you know little turns they use, as you can see on the bottom right, or how little time it took them in general, you can do a bit of both, you can do one or the other, and it's actually pretty cool. I've seen quite a few different YouTubers <laughs> on the leaderboard, so that's been pretty cool to see. Alrighty then, so this guy can be a pain in the butt. What I want to do is try to get him over here, and then I'm going to... Uh, wait, oh, okay, I could do that, and then hit him like that, then he's gonna try to hit me again, but that's okay. Now I have him stuck over here, so I can just move around here and get a little bit of extra science, and then he's gonna try to hit me, but he can only hit two blocks ahead of him, so I'm actually, oh, <laughs> I shot that at the wrong way. The hard part is it's sort of weird to not shoot if you want, if you, if you, you know, aimed it up wrong, so that's a little bit of a pain, but you can see there I moved in place and I got my shield back as well. So sometimes it's good to sit back and think, and sometimes it's a really, really bad idea. All right, let's get this health, even though we didn't need it. Okay, and we can also try to convince this guy to get hit, but I don't think it's gonna work very well for us. So I'm gonna move over here, hit him, and then I'm going to uh, hit him like that, there you go. So let's see, we can go this way, and there's another one of them, so I'm gonna wait a turn, go up here, oh. <laughs> These guys always get me tripped up for some reason, but they're, in my opinion, they're the hardest enemies so far. We can hop across here though, get that guy, and then we should be good to go. Go down here, uh-oh. So now with the new phase, uh, we, can, we can't actually go that way, but what we can do is we can do this, and then jump, uh-oh, maybe not quite like that, um, hmm. I actually haven't gotten to this point in the level, so try to figure this out really quick, um, hmm. I'm not really sure, well, I guess I could do that, do this, move here, haha, -ha, okay, we're getting it now. Get this guy, there you go, then wait, and then, there you go. And you can see how the game can be really fun and really interesting in this way, that it's just, it's fun to figure this game out. I don't know why, but it's it's one of those games I'm getting really stuck to, and I feel like I'm probably gonna play it all the way through in my own time, but of course I had to get the review out sometime soon. <laughs> but there we go, you can see that guy, I wish I could have explained that a bit more, but you have to react really fast to that guy. Basically, he connects a tether to you, and the tether is real time, so the longer you wait, the quicker that tether is gonna get to you, and it's gonna hurt you if it reaches your ship, so it's something you gotta be really quick about. We're actually gonna try to make our way over here to the uh, left. Oh, let's get him to get hurt here, there you go. All right, um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Hmm, oh, <laughs> this is really tough to time. 
All right, that's what I wanted. Now we can go up here, and, and now this guy has a bit of a thorn to him, so if we hit him, it will actually hurt us. So we wanna do that, do that, and then hit him like that. Oh, I thought he had one less health than he did, but all right, I'm gonna grab this health, jump over here, and we're about to finish up this level here. I think that's about everything I could find. It looks like there might have been a few things I could have actually gotten down here. So let's uh, go check that out. Let's uh, do that. And then see, oh yeah, there's something over here. And that's where the map can be super duper helpful, is that if you miss something like that, oh, yep, just like that. Oh, okay, there was a little more. I was just had to bust through the rocks. Okay, then there we go. Give me, give me a pen. I've been holding onto ideas for weeks. <laughs> that's cool. Alrighty then, so we're gonna do this and then just jump to the end of the level. There we go. So this is Nova 111. I'm really thoroughly enjoying this game. My biggest complaint with it so far is that if we go into the options menu, there isn't too many options I would like. Of course you got V-Sync. The game is pretty simple and should run on most uh, PCs. But the thing I don't like is that there's no audio sliders. It's just on or off. Same thing with the sound effects. And then in the controls, the controls are not rebindable. So if you end up not liking the controls, then you're sort of out of luck. But for now, the game is great. It just has some some uh, option menu flaws, but for now, Nova 111 is fantastic, and I'm enjoying it so darn much. You can find a link to purchase it in the link in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you like the look of Nova, make sure to give this video a like and share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.